Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Horilla. So today in this video, we'll be talking about the NEF module in Horilla. So we've talked about the attendance module, right? So it's very obvious that Horilla will be having a NEF module. It's really important to track the absence of the employees, right? So for that, we can use the leave module in Horilla. It's a very simple module. Let's go on to the module and see how it works. So guys, now let's move on to the leave module and see how it works. So this is the leave module. And inside the leave, you have options or menus like the dashboard, my leave request, leave requests, leave type, assigned leave, leave allocation. Um, and then you have this leave allocation request and compensatory leave request. So first, let's take a look at the dashboard. So this is the dashboard of the leave module. Now inside the dashboard here, you can see the number of new requests, the approved request, the rejected request, and then you have the available leaves, total leave request, and the upcoming holidays, next holiday, everything can be seen within the dashboard of the leave module. So just by taking a look at the dashboard, you will get an idea of what holiday is coming next. So here you can see what the next holiday is. And if you want to view the admin dashboard, that is also possible by clicking on the view admin dashboard. Okay, so this is the admins dashboard where you get employee leaves and all the other counts can be seen. Okay, so I'm going to the personal dashboard. Okay, so here the total leave requests and all will be there. And inside that you have the employee, the leave type, the start date, the end date. And then you have the requested days and status. That is the status of the leave request which you have sent. Okay, and here comes the upcoming holidays. So that's the dashboard and now let's go on to the my leave request section so here you can see all the leave requests which is created by you so you know leave requests can be of different types that is we have different types of leaves that such as the cash leave sick leave paid leave maternity leave and so much more so here you can actually see all the leave requests which you have created okay so here you have the year i mean the leave type sorry the start and end date the requested days the status, the comment, okay, if any comments or comments are added, you can add and view it from here, okay. And then you have the confirmation and further actions, which is to edit and delete it. Okay, so that's how you do it. And here you have the, you know, option to confirm it, that is to approve the leave. So those are the uh, things which comes under the leave request, that is my leave request, and you can see different colors and what it denotes. So you have this requested, approved, cancelled and rejected ones. Okay, so here you can see different colors, red means rejected ones, green means approved ones, and then you have this yellow kind of color which shows requested ones. And then you have this color which shows the cancelled ones. Okay, so those are the different types, that is the different statuses of the leave request. Okay. So if you want to create a new one, simply click on create over there and then you can choose the leave type. So there are different leave types. So I'm just choosing sick leave and then you can choose the start date as well as the end date. So I'm choosing this day as the start date and end date also that day, which means I'm taking leave for a single day. And then you can write uh, whether it's full day, half day or second half, whatever it is, you can take it like first half or second half, which means half day leave. So that can be chosen from here. So I'm putting it as full day itself and end day breakdown. Based on that, this is automatically filled to full day. And if you have any description or attachment that can be added here, once it's done, you can simply save it. So I'm going to buy the description. So please approve my request. That's what I'm giving and I'm saving it. Okay, so it's important to add a attachment so i'm adding an attachment over here so it can be if it if it's a you know sick leave or not you can add your medical certificate or things like that okay so once you're done you can simply save it and then you can see leave request is created so this is the sick leave which i have created so if you want to add or edit it you can do that and if you want to add or view a comment over here if there is any comment regarding this leave request you can add it over here okay so currently there are no comments if you want to add a new comment so i'm adding new comment and clicking on comment so that comment can be seen here next time when you click on that you can see the comment which you added and if you want to add further comments that is also possible here under the my leave request section okay next you have the leave requests so click on that so this is the section which generally shows every leave requests 
okay so in my leave request you can only find your leave request but in leave request section leave requests of every other employees can also be viewed so here you have the employee name the leave type the start and end date the requested days the leave clash if any clashes or overlapping and all is coming that will be shown here and then you have the option to that is the confirmation section whether to approve it or reject it okay so if i am taking this case now we'll take the amelia brown's sick leave where the requested day is 1 and here you have the leave clash if you just click on that you can see the clashes which are coming that is the clashed leave so same people are taking leave on the very same day that's the reason why it shows as clashed leaves okay so two other are taking this leave on the very same date okay so that's the leave clashes which are coming so when the admin is actually you know going in the confirmation part he can see the leaves which are being clashed okay and then he can either reject it or approve it so once approved uh, like if you are clicking on the approve button it will ask for a confirmation and simply you can confirm it from here okay so the confirmation is done now you can see leave request approved successfully so that's how you you know uh, approve a leave request if you want to create a new one click on create over here and it's very similar to the one which we created just before so that's the leave request section so after that you have this leave types so while you are creating a leave request they are asking for what type of leave right so there are leaves like the paid leave casual leave uh, sick leave and all so similar leave types are all here if you want to create a new leave type you can simply click on create over here and then create a new leave type so i am putting a leave type as unpaid leave okay so this is the new leave type i have created now you have to specify an icon for this or a color for it okay so a color is chosen here and the the type is whether it's paid or unpaid i'm choosing it as unpaid and the total days how many unpaid leaves you can take okay the count i'm giving it to 5 okay and then if you want to reset it or if it require approval you have to enable it then you have the require attachment exclude holidays so i'm going to exclude the holidays exclude company holidays that can also be possible and is in cashable so do you need to in cash uh, pending leave days so that's what it means so if you want to in cash the pending leave days then you can enable it okay so once it's done you can simply click on create and you can see unpaid leave is created okay so this is how you create a new uh, leave type and you can see how many unpaid leaves can be taken that is the total days the count will be given there so this is what we use while we you know create a new request so that's the leave types next you have the assigned leaves so whichever leaves are assigned to whoever that can be viewed here under the assigned leaves so this shows actually all leaves now here the field is leave type i'm just uh removing the filter there and then you can see all the assigned leaves okay this is to just view and if you want to assign a new leave means you can simply click on assign choose the leave type so i'm choosing unpaid leave and you can choose an employee let it be amigay and then apply okay so a new leave has been assigned to abigail leave which comes under the type unpaid leave okay so by default it is filtered based on leave type if you want to view it in a normal way you have to remove the filter and then you can see all the assigned leaves so that's how you basically assign a leave here you can see the employee leave type available days carry forward days total leave days assigned date and actions where you can edit and delete the data so that's how you do it and then you have the leave allocation request so this is for requesting for leave allocation okay so here you can see all the requests which is leave allocation request and your leave allocation request can be viewed here okay so here you have the option which is to approve and reject so once the leave request is satisfied for the admin he'll either approve it or reject it and this can be created from here so for that first you have to choose the leave type and the employee by default the logged in user will be taken then you have the requested days i am just putting two days and then here you can add a description okay so please approve that's what i'm giving and save it okay so that's saved now you can see a new leave allocation request is created so this is the new leave allocation request and then either rejection or approving can be done from here so i'm just rejecting it once you are rejecting it you have to specify a reason so not applicable or something i'm giving and submitting it 
so that what happens is that this is rejected okay you can see this has been rejected so that's how the leave allocation request works and finally we have the compensatory leave request okay so this is to uh, you know the attendance dates are given the requested days are given and you can see the status the description and also you can actually request for compensatory holidays okay you are you have worked on some other day and you want to compensate it as holidays and all so that can be you know created from here you can simply click on create here okay and you have the employee here the attendance can be given here on which all days you were present so that attendance is given and then you can add the description and once you're done you can simply save it so here in case of this and all you can see so convert the holiday you can see okay if any data is added and all i mean if any comment is added and all you can just simply click on the comment section over here okay so that's how basically the you know leave module of vorela works and you have some more things which is approved request and rejected and all which shows in different canvas okay so this is the basic idea of the leave module in vorela so that's all about the leave i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video